in the name that is above all names first let me start it this way every force that has sat on your destiny and your glory and will not allow you blossom we dislodge those forces now we dislodge those forces now we dislodge those forces now hey the bible says by you i can run through a troop by my god i can leap over a wall i place grace upon your life run like elijah run like elijah i prophesy over your destiny run like elijah overtake the chariots of ahab in the name of jesus run like elijah 10 years in one year one year in one month i prophesy to you 10 years in one year i shift you by prophecy enter a new season 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 listen please hear me you are as relevant as the people who attest to the presence of your value you are as relevant as the people who attest to the presence of your value the reason why we honor global brands today is because there are enough men who have attested to the fact that those brands are valuable enough. You are as valuable as the presence of the people who attest to your value. They cannot reward you if they do not know you are there. Publicity is first a spiritual matter. There are aids, social media and the rest. But there is a hear ye him anointing. And if that grace is not on you, you can do all you can and nobody will hear you. Is someone ready to carry that grace? The grace that God has placed on his servant, placed on the men and the women of God here, that will cause the nations, even the ends of the earth to hear you. For as many who will shout amen and believe this, carry that grace now. For your products, carry that grace now. For your vision, carry that grace now. For your ministry, carry that grace now. Son of man, what seest thou? I see four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judea, against in the name of Jesus. Every horn that has risen to shut your voice, to shut your relevance, so that you will not be heard. We bury those voices now. We bury those horns now. I say it again, the transforming church. We bury those voices now. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. My glory. I'm wrapping up. Something is resting on your life. Ala marato se veleke barakusia. Kraga da veleke baranto shabras. Kraba se melem baraska barash. Shavraga da balaga da vraga da veleke ta. Kraba kata baraka ta branta ga veleke ta. Skapa raka ta brasa kata velech. Rakata bemento sopra kete, rakata beleke paruska pradesh, ebraka paratu pradeke beleke parusia ta. Hallelujah. I'm led in my spirit to speak over two areas and then we're done. Can I pray for your finances? Ladies and gentlemen, please listen to me. This finance thing, ba. This finance thing. If God does not help you, you will sit down one day and cry like a baby, no matter how old you are. Did you hear what I said? You will not cry because you don't have food to eat. You will cry because you are watching prophecy limited by lack of resources. There are many books today that would have blessed the nation, stirring revivals. Money stopped that move. 
there are many apostolic and prophetic voices evangelical pastoral voices that should be heralding his message to the nations but they are incapacitated by resources you want to see attack let the grace for wealth start coming close to you you will see more attack in your life satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church please hear me i'm saying this because for someone if you don't get angry with lack you may sit down and have visions all you can and yet you will go and meet the lord you will not do one tenth of what he has told you to do i'm wrapping up reverend sam when god called me i listened to late pat robertson 700 club and he prayed a prayer as a young man he said when god called him naive not knowing many things he said lord give me three things number one give me wisdom number two give me favor number three give me the anointing of the holy spirit i took out time to pray that prayer and to study them then when i came to the subject of favor i saw that naturally speaking i did not have any advantage that i could lean on and i listened to dr mike modok may god bless him bless him thankfully we still have him alive this man spoke about favor and I began to learn certain things. I took one month to pray. And I said, God, don't send me with a message alone. I said, Lord, you have to help me and show me. Show me your help, even in this area. You have given me an apostolic call. It is an expensive call. Financially expensive. Not just attacks from the spirit. Even if nobody attacks you, you will still not move forward. If you don't have resources. Did you hear what I said? Thankfully, I was so honored to have Reverend Sam with us at Manchester last year. It was a surprise, just like Pastor Jerry was saying. I mean, he's not just done that to Pastor Jerry. I think he's done that to almost everyone within his circle. That sacrifice. He was over at Manchester. And the Lord gives us an instruction to put something at the largest indoor arena. And he said, not collect offering. There's nothing wrong with free. And then to pay to i mean to to feed all the workers over 2000 2500 people to feed them and he said don't collect offering don't make one mention i said god but giving is one of the ways people rise he said no there is a narrative about church within the european space that i want to use this conference to correct obedience is hard when you are poor you believe whatever you want to believe. I will tell you this as, as sincere and as modest as I can be. I'm saying that because your story is about to change. Let me tell you this. There are many visions today. By God's prophetic hand upon your life, you are supposed to have gone far. There are younger ministers, younger apostolic and prophetic voices that are rising, but you are incapacitated. The problem is not lack of grace. You have the content, you are disciplined, you have character, people of consecration, but you are pegged in one place. Right now, the unbelieving community have bought O2 Arena in UK. They bought Excel and they banned Christian activities there completely. While that is happening, we are here praying in tongues and that is good. But very soon, they will buy up everything and push us out. You see, let me tell you the truth. You must adopt, you see. Jesus the model had a treasurer and he did not shy away from the issue of finances. There are times, there were times when they came to embarrass him. And they said, you claim to be a preacher of righteousness, but you are wanting in the area of finances. He didn't argue. He got the money and showed us from that example how to enjoy peace in life. To give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. There are things that belong to Caesar. The moment you are serving God, Caesar will come to embarrass you. Embarrass your integrity. And say you are preaching, you are calling, you've not paid your tax. You know, preparing for a conference in uk and canada reverend sam you know this better than all of us i mean you cannot imagine the things you have to pay for insurance seats car park huh 
once you are gathering a crowd in excess of 10,000 uh, 10,000 people there are certain all there by the time they are done with you you will go back for a retreat and ask whether God really sent you I mean what I'm saying we exhausted the doors that were open for Canada and we had to now get another 5,000 overflow and once we did that to renegotiate the contract as if the first one was null and void but in Nigeria they can say okay since you have done this love Nigeria oh, it's not that bad we are still kind the kind of help that is needed for you to go forward I'm speaking to a businessman I'm speaking to someone in ministry the kind of help that only God can bring to men honestly I prophesy to you here on this altar beginning from now and the next 90 days if you have the faith to believe write it down and believe begin to enjoy tremendous supplies tremendous supplies I prophesy to you tremendous supplies I place prophetic words upon your head let helpers arise let financiers arise let favor conduits arise in the name of Jesus Christ I forbid you from begging and borrowing finances will not limit your becoming finances will not limit your rising finances will not limit your driving you will lay up gold as dust in the name of Jesus Christ Reverend Sam will you lend me one minute to speak over those in debt I'm hearing in my spirit debt debt like owing there are some of you who are neck deep in troubles there are preachers you are behind and if God does not help you you will plunge into depression every time people got into debt it was not business that brought them out it was prophecy whether it's lack of food in Samaria or the axe head that fell alas master it was borrowed it was prophecy that brought them out I want to speak to someone whether it is personal debt I've been in debt before I know the inconvenience that I... there are people who are not sick but the trouble on their head is better to even be sick hallelujah can I pray that for you because you need to come out of it the embarrassment the shame and the reproach I tell you being in debt will strip you of your dignity people who have no no audacity to talk to you will tear you down because you are in debt I pray for you in the name that is above all names standing on the graces that are here represented I decree and declare within the next 90 days by the wisdom of God by the mercy of God by the gift of man by the ministry of helpers by all godly means come out of debt in the name of Jesus come out of begging and borrowing in the name of Jesus you will owe no man nothing but love at least at a personal level in the name of Jesus Christ prayer praying in the spirit but not just praying in the spirit word based prophetic declarations I'm showing you how to provoke intervention you cannot take the word of God out of the equation word based not superstitious prophetic declarations word based prophetic declarations two scriptures we're still talking on prayer Isaiah 43 and verse 26 believers learn this 43 26 Isaiah put me in remembrance he says let us plead together he says declare thou that thou might test be justified my hand is able to save my hand is able to lift but I'm waiting for you to declare hmm. yeah though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies anointing my head with fresh oil my cup runs over you are declaring I have no covenant with death in the name of Jesus I declare as for me and my house you are making declarations because you are seeing storms rising you don't keep quiet when storms rise 
the worst thing to do is to be silent hear me i'm speaking to you because there are people storms all around your life when they woke jesus christ he did not discuss with the storm please be still your spiritual life suddenly your fire for prayer down your passion for the world down favor down everything down you should know that you are surrounded that there is something that is the time to open up your mouth i decree and declare in the name of jesus the lord is my light and salvation this is not just a pentecostal thing it's a formula for victory declare ye that thou mightest be justified Oh, I reject death. I reject death in the name of Jesus. Don't feel bad and feel that's how this one said it and died. That's none of your business. You speak. You do your own part and declare over your destiny. I choose life. I set before you life and death. I choose life. I choose health. I choose victory by the Spirit of God. thousand shall fall by my side ten thousand by my right side but none shall harm me with my eyes will I see the reward of the wicked I arise and shine because my light is come the glory of the Lord is risen upon me Gentiles come to my light their kings to the brightness of my rising for my shame I receive double where I've been deserted so that no man help them please passes through me I become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations prayer listen please sit down the moment believers learn this world over the moment you see an unfavorable situation in your life you know it is the devil because along with that situation will come the spirit of depression and the assignment of depression is to keep you silent listen to what i'm telling you i'm not a medical doctor i'm speaking as a man of god i know that depression has an assignment to keep you silent satan is the master of the flesh realm so this is how my life will be i thought this will work i had a dream and i thought the job will come and you now keep quiet and the angels are saying look at this there is a law we are ready to move god is ready help them please god is ready to move Psalms 107 verse 2 these are the arsenals of victory Psalms 107 please very quickly let the redeemed of the Lord if they are truly the redeemed don't just think so don't just wish so say so let the lifted of the Lord say so let the blessed of the Lord say so are you learning now You return back and there is a medical report that is disturbing just when that is happening your child brings a result after spending so much on his school fees you see an evil report are we together the moment that is happening you just hear that your investment has crashed you're a politician they told you okay this is supposed to be your position you're a man of god you come to church and it looks like everything is going down that's not the time to be quiet and that's not the time to attract sympathy you are the first prophet of your destiny go and shut your door remove your ceo regalia put on that priestly robe someone blast in the spirit in one day. i would be silent in the name of jesus christ listen listen believers hear me hold on hold on do you know that many believers allow tragedy to mount until it presses them down that's when they resort to god as a last option 
and I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Make this covenant of protesting. As long as I am Listen, an evil report is happening. Your children are going haywire. As a man, you are not just ahead of the home for nothing. Wear your priestly regalia while your children are sleeping. Walk room by room. You are laying hands upon them, not my house. I build the spiritual fortification by prophesying. I decree and declare the foolishness of faith. I engage it. The righteousness of faith speaks from this wise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I will help you. Come and meet me tomorrow. And you come tomorrow and say, who asked you to come here? This favor. Just when you are going, you can't hit someone. Just when you learn to read the signs don't wait for evil to stay don't be along with evil attack it from infancy don't be along with evil attack it from infancy hallelujah you go to bed in the night and you have a funny dream that you know already shows that there is an attack that the spirit of death is following people in your family listen don't just wake up and write it in a jotter and and then when it happens you say, no get up and say no way in the name of jesus I, if he followed my father and my father's father i turn as a priest i'm a king and a priest declaration Listen, it was it was God's servant Bishop David Oyedeko who said no matter how mad a man is he will not enter inside fire by mistake and say it's confusion no matter how mad he is when he sees fire he says he makes his angels wings and his ministers flaming fire You're sleeping and someone takes your name to a shrine for political reasons. Oh, let this person die. Or let this person not be. You don't have to go to the shrine. Right from where you are. Listen. Believers, hear me. This is not just some spiritual jamboree. The times that we live in, it will be risky to not know these truths and to not engage them. Your life literally hangs upon these truths. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Please sit down. Please sit down. Let me challenge you. I want to challenge every family here as much as God grants grace provided you and your wife are in agreement set one day this week even if it's for 30 minutes hold your hands walk around that house identify anything that does not look like christ zoom your tongues to it scatter it as if it does not exist yes sir yes sir helakusi abata no my womb will not give birth to armed robbers as a woman you lay your hands or sit down and watch things go bad
just help those under the anointing there is a strong anointing in this place because this is a message for the body of christ divine intervention comes on the wings of prayer a prayerless church no matter what else you have is a powerless church a wordless church no matter what you have is a powerless church the ministry of prayer and the word are the foundations of the true church listen to me i'm not creating a doctrine out of this but let me challenge you obtain grace from god to wake up in the night conquer slumber the night time is when kings win is when we establish victories you're walking around your house in the night the lord told you you'll be a senator the lord told you you'll be a governor the lord told you you'll be a ceo and there are forces sitting down making decrees you don't need to fight them go to your closet this is how kings reign people of god hear me with every sense of humility that's how we got here i'm not telling you cunningly devise fables everything about your finances is dying scattering you are not lazy you are hard working they are stealing from your shop they are cheating you they are lying counseling is not the solution alone go back and pray there is an evil force wanting to discredit god in my life i attack you in the name of jesus listen i don't promote the devil and i don't mean to market the devil but i have seen many demons i have seen many spirits by the privilege of my calling and the apostolic office i have been exposed to the realm of the spirit i understand scripture i have been well mentored by fathers of faith and veterans of the gospel the things you are hearing are not cunningly devised fables don't ignore it you will spend your lifetime paying the price we live in an evil world your portion will come to you by insisting from the days of john until now the kingdom suffered violence it is a violence that will take it by force can i tell you this there is no african family that is immune to witchcraft by default it's a lie if not by bloodline by territorial connection when we pray like this we do not negate the finished work of christ we rather stand in partnership our prayer is our participatory role to establish it here and now listen as powerful as god is he did not cast sin out of men he didn't say sin i cast you out there are rules of engagement in the spirit as for me i've made up my mind god gave me this mouth not only to eat but to create my destiny and i insist for my life for this ministry silence is not just shouting and jumping around no 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 an intentional approach to your growth take responsibility listen body of christ thank god for the vessels god has given us but we must become serious and mature to become the first prophets of our destiny go and lock your door pray for me pray for me is good but you must take authority over your situation by the power of the holy ghost the mystery of divine intervention give this message to anyone you know and you love please sit down the first key is prayer for as long as i live i will never stop praying for as long as god has anointed me i will never stop praying for as long as this ministry god grants me the privilege of leading this ministry we will never stop praying for as long as i live i will never ignore the word of god no matter where whatever lifts you is what sustains you don't throw it away don't throw this bible for money 
don't throw this bible for awards hold it together with the awards this is it the alternative to this is charms and witchcraft and all kinds of troubles that come with side effects i found your word and i did eat it it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul heaven and earth will pass away but the word of the lord abides forever please hear me the only guarantee to our fulfilling the purposes of god as we await the return of christ with honor is to get serious with this scripture please hear me you are seated here and there is an attack on your spiritual life take it seriously don't just say one day i'll think about it i am telling you now if you have been praying to confirm whether it's an attack i'm answering that prayer by the grace of god it's an attack i hope you still love me this night please pray please pray P pray for me is good but pray in the name of jesus christ and when you are praying i'm not being harsh on you i'm just shouting because of the passion burning in me listen by the grace of god don't be praying and browsing except if the holy ghost speaks to you and you are looking for scriptures quickly keep this thing aside this thing is a blessing but in the name of jesus christ show your dominion over it by keeping it on one side when you are praying you can't be doing too many things and focus lock the door sometimes sincere people can come to distract your prayer and study life how are you are you at home peace be unto this as politely tell them sorry i love you but i'm spending a few minutes if they love you and they love your destiny they should excuse you look live by values otherwise you will crash your spiritual life down you are praying with fasting turn every plate upside down in your house lord there is a spirit attacking my influence there is a spirit attacking my fervency for you it didn't used to be like this what happened to my prayer fire what happened to my word fire i sleep by 7 pm i wake up by 9 am in the morning something is wrong with my spiritual life fight depression speak i reject it ah, i know i lost one billion in this investment my company is in trouble i know that this has happened i know they've diagnosed me with fibroid or cancer or whatever i know that there is a situation things don't seem to be adding up but let me die believing you you return back you study scripture and now the advantage we have there are many people who have gone through the labor of putting the required scripture you need just a little search online and you can find scriptures people have paid the price already if you have an office or a prayer room surround it with powerful scriptures remove pictures of when you were small and keep them aside and put scriptures while you are praying you turn this light firing from one direction please listen to what i'm telling you this is the key to victory do you know why i'm telling you this so that when you rise when they ask you yes you will say it's god's grace but you will tell light you can't say i don't know what i did jesus i know paul i know you must register your presence in the realm of the spirit i say touch not for me for my children for all that surrounds me touch not do you know prayer can become a habit you are praying and you just stretch for stretching for two minutes and waking up you are not fully awake but the realm of the spirit and demons will suffer just because you ah, before you turn back is any man afflicted let him pray can i tell you this i don't mean i don't mean to create controversy or trouble i've come to this city in peace but let me tell you this I made up my mind 
everybody under my roof must serve my God listen carefully you can't be under my roof at my cost and do what you want to do no no if the owner of the house is praying you should pray don't get up and say whatever no it's a, it's a, it's a personal uh, um, revelation I'm not saying it must be so for you so that you don't allow people to bring all kinds of familiar spirits and loiter your house okay this is how we pray in this house you are welcome 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. with it's a diff if there are special cases that's all right but as much as possible the point of neglect is the access point for demons where you neglect the point of neglect many of us started raising our children well but when they became teenagers in a bid to honor them for maturity we started subtracting spiritual values you take away prayer and give your child a car you did not help the child let him pick the prayer before the car key i don't know how i got here please sit down let's let's talk about we have to finish so number one prayer please pray 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 in the spirit pray in the spirit we do not know the evil that confronts us day and night but we can pray it's our zone of safety is the formula that the father gave us pray the moment you detect things around your life that are not lining up with the purposes of god the moment you see that the agenda of god is being interrupted souls are not being saved in and through your life you are a man of god and for two weeks you made an altar call nobody came out don't laugh and say it's all right everybody is saved that's not there is no such thing as that the same way the poor you will always have with you the unsaved you will always have with you the day i spend a week in my life and my life does not save a sinner i will go on a retreat and repent before god what is the anointing for one week sunday to sunday nobody came to jesus through my life nobody got healed through my life no demon was casted out nobody understood the kingdom through my life you must take that responsibility authority comes with responsibility prayer point number one father everything that is not a representation of the life of christ in and around my life i declare that it must live right now lift your voice and pray please pray the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father it declares that it will be uprooted pray all the overflows pray outside pray following online everything that is not the planting of christ it must be uprooted right now everything that is not the planting of christ pray manifesting as ill health manifesting as some infirmity and some disease in your body manifesting as occurrences and patterns in your life lift your voice and pray let it come on that judgment right now Hallelujah.
second prayer point first samuel first samuel 12 and verse 6 i believe that should be the scripture first samuel 12 and verse 6 yes please read with me one to read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and that brought your fathers out of the land of egypt who advanced them the lord people don't just go forward in their lives you don't just go forward because you are tired of where you are there is a hand that can push a man from egypt to the land of promise you are going to pray may that hand that hand that can push men mysteriously but surely may that hand shift you to the next level lift your voice and pray Is someone praying it was the lord that advanced moses and aaron advance my life oh god in the name of jesus let me encounter by your marvelous hand the grace that advances me the grace that advances me go ahead and pray advancement all wise advancement all wise Declare your advancement in the name of Jesus. Let this unction come upon you today and push you and shift you to a new dimension, a new level of spiritual experience. The Lord that advanced. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was I was over in Zaria um, just midweek down to the weekend before traveling for some other meetings and then coming here. And when I went to Zaria as as I I became very emotional as I was about to enter the city because I could see places where I once walked praying and prophesying and declaring that in the name of Jesus this vision will grow and will bless the world I could see places and I stood there and I said my God only a fool will say in his heart there is no God I saw the things that would look like a dream or some ambitious project happen at the instance of the hand of God with a level of godlike ease it has to be God are we together now I'm saying that to still establish this prayer don't ask is it difficult for God to lift me honestly if you say that you don't know God this God that we're talking about in one day he fed a whole nation not a family a nation and there was a man who said even if god will open the windows of heaven this cannot be possible he repeated that miracle when he fed five thousand people with five loaf and two fish one more time i'd like you to pray lord i want to leave this current position i am grateful for where you have brought me but there is more for me in christ there is more for me in destiny i obtain grace tonight that will advance me go ahead and pray It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron and brought your fathers out of Egypt, the place of bondage. Someone is praying, take me to higher grounds, oh God, higher levels spiritually, higher levels financially multiplying your influence and your good hand upon my life for the sake of your kingdom
In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 49. Next prayer point. Isaiah chapter 49. We'll begin our reading from verse 24. Please pay attention. Isaiah 49. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered? You know who a lawful captive is? A lawful captive is one who is in bondage legally. Are we together now? Yes. Lawful captive. That means there was a legitimate ground upon which the realm of the spirit found access to your life, your liberty, your family. There is such a thing as a lawful captive. But the Bible says, is there a possibility in the dealings of God with men that even those who are lawful captives, that means Satan has an authorized basis. He can stand to say, no, 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 no. I have on a legitimate ground. There is grounds to oppress this family. There is grounds to oppress this destiny. There is grounds to oppress this ministry. But the Bible says, even at that, in the dealings of God with men, is there a possibility for lawful captives to be delivered? 25. It says, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. It, we, it's important for us to know who is talking. Because if it is not the Lord, if he says, Thus saith an angel, we're in trouble. Because angels are limited. But thus saith this sovereign authority, regardless the legal basis, there is still a possibility. It says, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will... Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's telling you how he will do it. Are we together now? Come, Dave, let me use you. Who, who else will come? Come, a doctor. Let me use two of you. Now, watch this. Let's assume, stand here. Since we're wearing white and white, you come. Watch this. Let's assume that this man, that I'm a terrorist. Are we together now? And then, I hold this guy because for some reason, he gave me legal grounds to hold him. Are we together now? His family may not be able to help him. But then let's assume, for instance, that... No, no, let me not use terrorism. Let's assume that um, this man was a criminal. Are we together now? And say I'm the head of prisons or the correctional center and I've kept him there. And this is the president of that territory. In as much as there was a legal ground, this guy was ordered from court to be in jail for something he did. Is that true? The Bible says there is still a possibility. The possibility is not when they have already said there is no bail for you. Yet, at a certain time, the president, there is something called presidential pardon. Am I right on that? This is what God is saying. That although your family is where they are, because your grandfathers, the devil was minding his business, your grandfathers came and said, please, come and help us farm. And the devil said, for what in return? He said, help them please. He said, for the destiny of my children and my children's children. And the devil said, I will protect you from war. But make sure you serve me. Now the missionaries came and brought the gospel. And now you decided that I will not serve the devil again. He will not fold his arms and watch you. There is a basis for that oppression. But the Bible says, I will contend. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Have you known God as a warrior? Go and read your Bible. Hmm. Moses, he said, stand still. 
This fight is not your own. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. God can fight. Believe me. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, two angels, not God, two angels from heaven with hailstone, they wiped a whole people overnight. Two angels. We don't even know their ranking in the angelic kingdom. Two angels. I'm saying this because he's the one who will arise. There are matters in families that are not allowing people go forward. And just when the devil thinks he's getting away with it again, like he has done before. Give us that scripture. Let's finish. I will contend. So back to my example. Now I'm holding this guy. I'm holding doctor and keeping him in one place. You will not move forward to manifest your destiny. But I forgot that even me, I am a citizen of a nation. And then the president comes and says, Whatever it is, I use my office. Remember that the position that you have that authorized you to keep this person was an appointment. And the president, both me and him, two of us are subject to the president's decision. Are we together now? Yes. So he comes to grant presidential pardon. And then he does not just make that order from his place, his villa. He comes by himself and enters the correctional center and goes to the room and picks this man. And I watch with pain as he leaves him. I desire to keep him except that the Lord strong and mighty. I'm saying this because there are people God himself will reach down to your foundation and pull you out. Believe me when I tell you this. Reach down to your foundation once and for all. Listen. Let me tell you a little secret. I don't, I usually at the end of the year, I take out time to just rest and make sure that you know I just have my little time to rest and prepare but a group of people came from my village and they said look you need to come there is fire on the mountain and you are blessing the whole world I said you people should leave me this is the end of the year I want to rest they said no you have to come and I, I sat down when I looked at what was happening I said in as much as I love everybody in truth and without bias i love my own people too i told them i said you know what i'm coming and believe me let me tell you what i'm going to do by the spirit of god i'm going in partnership with the battalion of heaven there are there are things there are things that need to be settled there are all these all these wishing see the devil is not stupid there are rules of engagement just desiring to be free does not bring freedom there are rules of engagement. Are we together? I came here with a burden tonight because as I prayed, I asked the Lord, I said, Father, please let people not come and, and cry and say amen and fall and stand up only to return back into frustration. But you see, listen, let me tell you this. You have to believe God tonight and be serious. Believe him and open up your heart and be determined that I'm not going back the way I came. The woman with the issue of blood said to herself, before Jesus arrived, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. There are men of God here, you make up your mind, I'm not going back with my head empty, no way. I traveled so far to come and receive an unction that will change my life. Business people make up your mind that I'm not coming here to, to, to go back and live a life of struggle. Living from hand to out, pillar to post, up today, down tomorrow. Even the lawful captive. And so he comes to pick him and goes with him. And there is nothing the devil can do about it. 
Do you know why? Because the earth is the Lord's And the fullness thereof And the walls and all they that dwell therein So you are going to pray one prayer You are going to give a prophetic red card If I will use that expression To everything that is antichrist Buried whether in foundations, inheritance I like you to make a declaration In the name of Jesus I'm cutting away From ordinances and handwritings Speaking against the purposes of Christ In and through my life Go ahead and pray my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let me beseech you whether you are an usher or not. If someone is under the anointing close to you, please help them. Let's be very, very fast so that we trust God to do much tonight. Hallelujah I really want to take out time And minister this deliverance By the power of the Holy Spirit And you will be shocked and surprised To see what happens to you Let me start tonight With families Where nobody rises This is what I want to start with tonight In truth there are families Where no matter how Diligent you are no matter how hard working you are It looks like there is a demonic embargo You see people travel abroad And return back after 10 years in shame They study to PhD Some of them even become professors Yet they cannot feed their families Why? Because there are horns That have lifted up themselves against Judah And against Jerusalem Now I want to pray By the power that resides In the Christ I decree and declare Please bring them out very quickly Everyone here under the sound of my voice In the main auditorium Inside and outside Whose life and family Is under the yoke Of this wicked spirit That will not allow you rise At the count of three You are going to shout the name Jesus And at the shout of that name that fire will fall from heaven and set ablaze everything that is antichrist. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every yoke, every altar, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, every family that will not be allowed to rise, we bring judgment against those forces in the name of Jesus bring them out by the power that raised Christ from the dead be charged now be charged now be charged now wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. Bring them out, please. I'm still praying. Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah 
against Jerusalem so that no one but lift up his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. I am still praying. Every family here that is a victim of the covenant of ancestry. Covenants of ancestry. Your fathers worship idols. Your fathers worship all kinds of things. And now the children are victims of this by the blood of the eternal covenant. You're still going to shout Jesus. Let there be liberty right now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. From yours. Foundations. Ordinances. Wicked orchestrations of darkness. Let them go now. Let them go now. The Bible declares. He who the Son sets free. Is free indeed. Bring them out. Most of the challenges you see that believers go through, aside from the issues that relate to ignorance and lack of accurate spiritual understanding, most of the challenges are tied and connected to orchestrations of demons. I'm still praying. Ah. The Lord is opening my eyes again. And like He always shows me, I'm seeing to this stage, to this stage, I'm seeing fire falling on people right now. To this stage, every orchestration planted that is tying men down in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. I bring you liberty right now. I bring you liberty right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I bring you liberty right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray a prayer of release. God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the hands of people tied. When your hands are tied spiritually, no matter what you do physically, believe me, it will not work. You will do the best that you know to do. But I'm about to pray. Those chains will be broken right now. Father, every hand that is tied in the realm of the spirit, affecting their productivity, their capacity, to make structural progress at in the name of Jesus Christ. Kapato Katebata. My God, I'm seeing fire falling at the count of three. One, two, three. Let that fire fall now. Fall now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Monica? Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. Monica. Don't just stand up and go. There is a reason why I ask that they bring them out. I'm about to pray for them. Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. I don't know if that is your name. These are the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. Monica. I'm also hearing the name Adams. Who is Adams? Adams. Oppression must come to an end right now. Adams. I'm hearing a name Adams. Who is Monica? Please verify that that is their name. You are Monica. I want to pray for you. 
the power of god is coming on a woman right now you get pregnant but it never crosses three months the moment is past three months you will have a dream in the night and the moment you have that dream you will lose that pregnancy right now the power of god is coming upon that woman right now i decree and declare wherever she is wherever she is i break that hold now i break that hold monica let me pray for you please i want you to hold two people who will now begin to run by the anointing and come out because i'm looking and i'm seeing a serpent this i'm seeing like a snake this is what i'm seeing i'm not saying they are snakes but this is just what god is showing me in the name of jesus hold them and bring them out let me pray for you my goodness monica two of you there is there is fire that is falling on you now i just saw a strong anointing i'm praying for all of you but this tie of witchcraft over your life it must go right now i stretch my hands father according to your word in the name of jesus help them please i command that oppression go now out of them now in the name of jesus christ out of them now release their lives and release their destinies hallelujah the lord is showing me a gentleman you work with civil defense civil defense this is what i'm saying you are a gentleman you work with civil defense i'm not giving your name but the lord is saying you work with civil defense if there is such a person please let me pray for you very quickly because we are still going to minister deliverance adams let me pray for you In the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands towards you Adams the power of God is coming on one of you the Lord is saying you are ending a season and beginning a new one I decree and declare right now may that anointing come upon you I shift you to help them in the name of Jesus Christ please take care in the name that is above all names I decree and declare right now let there be liberty for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ where do you work my friend civil defense what's your name paul how long have you been there 10 years 10 years yeah, I joined 2000 and 2012. have you gone abroad yes do you know why i'm saying that i'm not a prophet of doom but i'm seeing you inside a plane and i'm seeing god taking you out of this country this is what i'm seeing this is this is like i don't know if it's that you and your family are moving but god is just telling you to prepare because your days they are numbered god is shifting you to a new dimension in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit let it be for you even as he has spoken in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let it be for you as he has spoken for all those who are out here under the anointing I command the spirits and the devils oppressing them and their families. I speak as one sent and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I declare leave their destinies and their families now. Go, go, go out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release them and everything you have taken from their lives and their destinies let there be a sevenfold restoration now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray there are families where people rise and they get to a particular point and just when they are about to climax in their pursuit and their career something must happen to them 
and bring them down in shame there are many people like that and there are many families like that diligent people they get to the zenith of their pursuit and then something brings them down i want to pray over those people right now and the power of god is going to come upon them i like for your heart to be open and i want you to receive it as a prayer thank you lord jesus every family under this kind of yoke that rises to get to a particular point and just when you are the apex the climax the zenith of your pursuit these forces bring you down in the name of jesus christ i declare right now i'm praying there are two ladies that will shout now under the anointing based on this prayer the moment that happens the power of god will begin to move to touch people this is what the lord is telling me two ladies whose families and lives are victims of this in the name of jesus the moment that happens the power of god will begin to set people free two ladies help them please bring them out we are praying right now everyone under the sound of my voice whose life and family are a victim of this manifestation of rising to a particular point and going down right now i decree and declare be, be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus I want to rebuke the spirit of delay now hear me there are people here you may not necessarily be victims of delay directly but your, your pace of growth is too slow what can be done in one month takes you 10 years I don't mean to insult you but there are some of you you've been building forever and it looks like the grace to finish is not there I tell you the, the fire of God will fall on many people based on this prayer I'm about to pray and you will shout that name that everything that has tied your life and destiny bring in delay you know that delay is at work in your life when the only thing that grows in your life is your age nothing else grows only your age you know that there is delay there therefore I pray right now my God I sense fire even on my own hands in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus as you shout that name inside and outside everyone who is a victim of that oppression that demonic structure will be liberated right now I decree and declare against the spirit of delay we come against you by the power that is in the blood of Jesus at the count of three shout Jesus one two three shout Jesus delay be broken now help them my God delay be broken now over lives over families be broken now Hallelujah. Many years ago, I used to have demon spirits come to oppress me. And because of the prophetic, I would see these spirits enter. I would shout in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and nothing would happen. Because the real miracle is not in the chanting of the name like a charm or a genie is in the revelation of it but the lord is opening my eyes right now please look at me there are people you would have made maximum progress pay attention but you go back to bed and you are seeing yourself in secondary school you are seeing yourself in i want to put how it came what happened 
almost all of them had similar dreams maybe not exactly the same but similar they go to bed and someone comes to them with a syringe like a, a real syringe in the dream and injects them and tells them this is hiv are we together and they wake up and after a few months they begin to have physical symptoms they go to the hospital and they will tell you this thing is demonic and because of their fear to not be stigmatized they will not seek help and not say anything and keep quiet until it eats them up i declare liberty i declare liberty There is a lady I'm praying for you by the Spirit because I'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of Jesus right now I'm praying Bring them out. Kaparato shetegetia. Shiga bagata paruski ata balakata. Krato shetegetia. That's right. Mandika paruske tikata. E pregeto shida dabata. I decree and declare, whatever spirit is binding itself to you in this soul spiritual union, we break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. There are whole families that are victims of this. Not just individuals. I'm still praying. I don't know why God is showing me women. I know that this affects both men and women. But I'm still women. I'm still praying. Right now, every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus hallelujah please look at me I want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and I want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the Bible says in the book of Esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces Hadassah or Esther the Bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king Ahasuerus and Mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you will never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten i'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can i tell you this god does not forget but men can forget believe me when i tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men god uses men to lift god uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by joseph 
and Joseph made a plea and said I am in this prison but I am innocent I don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the wine press have forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there a man was there the arch enemy of the people of god he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so i want to pray for you now when i came into this city i found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray a grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God to help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be opened for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered uh, we will do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ we'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer It is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late 
the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time it says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them most, my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november and saying it by prophecy i stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace may your help not escape december 2021 believe it believe it believe it may your help let it not escape december 2021 therefore i prophesy to the east i prophesy to the west i prophesy to the north and to the south wherever your help is i gravitate it towards your destiny I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord. One more time with faith in your heart. I am the Lord, I am the Lord that He led me. I am the Lord, Your healer. I sent my word and heal your disease. Listen, the Bible says Jesus was speaking and he said, As my Father has sent me, he said, Even so send I you. As my Father sent me with the same mandate and the same backing. The same mandate and the same backing. My mission was to reveal the love of the Father and to connect the world to the Father so that they walk back in that dominion and they become envoys envoys advocates kings and priests now i send you but to do that you will need the equipping the backing of heaven so how god anointed jesus of nazareth when jesus came and stood up for to read luke chapter 4 says that it was given to him the scroll of isaiah and he found where it was written concerning him that the spirit of the lord is upon me for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to release to preach deliverance to them who are captive and recovery of sight and to set at liberty them that are bruised and then when he was done reading he said the bible says he closed the book and kept it and sat down and he said this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes the healing ministry is one of the cardinal ministries that reveal the love of jesus why because the authorized means of remaining on the earth is that you must have a mortal body listen this is the theology of healing 
Healing is not merely just administering the power of God to a human body. It's an attempt by the Spirit of God to bring you to a point of health and vitality because the spirit of man or any spirit requires a certain health condition in a human body to be able to remain when the body is broken and deteriorated beyond a certain threshold the spirit will have to be separated from the body in an event we know and call death are we together now so every time you are sick it's like death knocking on your door would you give me a chance from a slight a sickness as headache pain whatever it is so when jesus comes to bring healing to his servants it is his commitment to preserve you in health and vitality so that you can have the body prepared for you to be able to do that which he has mandated you to do you're sick in your body now is the time for you to receive your healing i want you to lay your hand very quickly i truly believe in the healing ministry the last three months the lord has been speaking to me again that some of the manifestations of the power of god that we saw with the generals our fathers of blessed memory who have joined the cloud of witnesses today most of them moved marvelously in the 60s and the 70s across europe across the u.s and even in africa here there were men and women most of them died living a prophetic word that a moment will come in the history of the church and in the future of the church where there will be a marvelous move of the spirit and young men and women will arise and there will be a restoration of that healing mantle can i tell you sincerely our generation has not really once if you are younger than respectfully speaking say 45 downwards or maybe 40 downwards that generation has not really witnessed the move of the spirit the healing ministry with power the way that most of our parents and our fathers would tell us sometimes you will hear the things that they would say and you would think they were exaggerations i've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people before they passed on who were marvelously used by god to change nations and my concern was not just impartation from them i wanted to ask them what were the prophetic words that you received and i can tell you this before jesus returns once again that water that pool will be stirred in a remarkable way believe me when i tell you this there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on jesus i'm going to pray for the sick now but i want you to know know this for sure that the move of the spirit is coming and before we round up this service tonight i will pray i know that there may be one or two people here that god is already training you as part of that glorious that mighty army that will carry this end time mantles of healing for you you did not just come for a miracle service to receive you are still in the in, in, in god is still working on you be patient with him we are not just talking of healing in a service headache wheelchair thank god for that but men whose shadows like peter will heal the sick i believe this with all my heart i believe this with all my heart that before jesus comes believe me when i tell you there will be such a move of the spirit ordinary people men and women you have not seen them on tv yet nobody even knows them they may not be in active ministry yet no one is celebrating them the lord is training them pruning them building them and when he's ready he will blow them like a sofa to the nations and i tell you africa and nigeria has a major prophetic role to play in taking back this healing anointing to the nations
I believe this. It will happen in our lifetime. We will see it. Like natural resources, we will expose the power of God as a commodity to the nations. Believe me when I tell you this. Men and women will carry fire. Some of you, God will send you to Europe to go back and salvage the decadence that is going there. Some of you, God will send you back to US, Canada, send you across, even to Asia. For now, let's pray for the sick. Please lay your hand as a point of contact. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. I know he heals. I don't just believe he heals. I know that Jesus heals. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, Nobody like you, Lord. Now, do you know, I was so humble when I found out that many hospitals in Abuja here and many hospitals across the nations, people who are with patients connect to the miracle service like so many are doing right now. You've heard of the marvelous miracles of people in the hospital. Very humbling to see what the power of God is doing. And if you are in the hospital right now connecting with someone, whatever the situation is, I want you to believe. Lay your hands and let's pray. As I pray for you, I want you to shout a loud Amen. I will rebuke that spirit and command that spirit to give way. Now, um, I don't know how we'll do it because this is the last miracle service and i have a section for impartation so what we are going to do is um probably we may not have people come out to share testimonies let's just let's just um let's sacrifice that section of the meeting in as much as it's good to declare the faithfulness of god but there is a lot we still have prayer requests here and then I still want to take out five, ten minutes and release something upon your life. A, a marvelous manifestation of the anointing. So I will just pray for you as God touches you and blesses you. From next week, you can do well to come and testify. My apologies. It's our culture to always take the testimonies and celebrate Jesus. But now that we have taken time to do this, we may just sacrifice that so that we can do the general prayer and then we do the impartation. The impartation is a major part of tonight's meeting. That's why many people traveled across nations and came here. Hallelujah. There is somebody, God is calling you into the prophetic, but it looks like you touch that realm and come back. You touch that realm and come back. Some of you even travel to come. The Lord is saying there is a mantle. There is a grace. It's a seer anointing. The grace, not just dreams. The grace for sight. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare before I pray for the sick. That grace for sight. Palato shatabakata. Ketekepakatosiata. In the name of Jesus, may your eyes be open to see me. May your eyes be open to see. I open for you the vistas of the Spirit with accuracy. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that grace right now. Hear me. Some of you is, is, a, is a spiritual inheritance. Where you come from has that as a grace. I'm saying this as a prophetically you come from a background even a denominational background where god has given it as a spiritual inheritance i stand in faith with that ancient mantle i declare again for those called to the prophetic may your eyes be open to see Uh, 
Shala na barige dingo. Shala bakatusi ana. Hela barato zegedia. Just give me a minute and let this grace just just really come on people. Believe me, there are people receiving this anointing. Kaneka tebata. Some of you, your grandfathers were prophets. Your fathers were prophets. It's a spiritual inheritance given to you. It's time for you to walk in that grace. It's time for you to walk in that grace. The seer's anointing. The eyes that can see. See beyond time. See beyond science. Ready to pray for the sick. of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ who is that guy lifting his crutches he couldn't walk No, 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 I'm not saying should. Look at me, my friend. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your crutches and walk. Just do what I ask you to do. Walk. Walk. Lift it up and walk. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Come, walk. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. He touched me. He touched me. And oh, watch your something happened, and now he touched me. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? I got an accident. How long ago? One year. One year ago. Yeah. And it looks like it's not healing. No. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare right now, right now, healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I declare life to your limbs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Life to your limbs. Life to your limbs. I declare a supernatural reconnection of the fractured bone. You came here believing. My friend, look at me. Stand up. Walk gently. Go. Turn and come back. I'm about to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this miracle remains permanent in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. And what do you do? I computer with him. You are what? I computer wizard. I'm not sure I got him. Computer wizard. No, don't. Oh, oh, you are not a wizard. You are, you are a computer. You are computer savvy. That's all right. Choose. You. 
In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle for you right now. I shift you by the Spirit in Jesus' name. Now I want to pray for you. We are still praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let him go. He's free. I decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity and any disease, I command it to give way now. Give way now. I pray from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet, my God, I sense such a strong anointing. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. I'm hearing the name gastritis. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Help that woman. That's right. In the name of Jesus, be healed now.